Since the band's conception, the Beatles were a live band. Throughout 1960 to 1966, they performed many covers and original pieces. John would later state that, quote, The Beatles' music died then. That's why we never improved as musicians. We killed ourselves then to make it. And that was the end of it. However, this statement by John neglects one key aspect of the Beatles' early career. On BBC Radio, they could play whatever songs they wanted. Prior to their own radio show being conceived, they played on various other shows that were very popular in Britain. The most prominent was Saturday Club, with host Brian Matthew. In May 1963, the Beatles were in the middle of a cruel touring schedule. They were either playing a concert, performing on TV, or appearing on radio appearance almost every day, and oftentimes they did two or three in one day. These performances used a small portion of their material, from 20 to 25 minutes, which promoted their album and singles. With 200 plus performances, a lot of songs they knew were later recorded and performed live, but the majority were covers of many R&B or rock and roll songs they heard from childhood. The majority of these songs were recorded in Germany, 1962. Tiring of playing their same songs over and over in front of a large audience, BBC radio shows gave them a break and allowed more covers to be done. Essentially, it allowed them to play more of what they wanted. Because of this freedom, this also allowed John and Paul to write more, due to the fear of repetition their competition would play. Originally named Beatle Time, BBC's Vernon Lawrence first suggested the idea of the show. One BBC manager had commented that he liked almost everything about this idea. The title of the show was reworked later as a spin on Pop Goes the Weasel. Thus, Pop Go the Beatles was born. This would have three main components to the half hour program. First, six songs were required to be recorded for that day. Sometimes the Beatles would also perform more songs to choose from. Next, request reading and witty banner. The Beatles themselves really hosted the show, but with an official host, they were able to play off of that. And finally, a guest band to play, often a Merseyside group and record it on a different day. These rules stem from the BBC, feeling like it would be a ripoff to play the records of the bands. So essentially, they wanted to play them live, with the exception of Saturday Club, that is. Airing every Tuesday at 5 p.m., Pop Go the Beatles was set live with host Lee Peters, jokingly P Leaders by the band, and later by Ronnie Berg. Originally just four episodes, eleven more were later recorded after an agreement was made to keep the show running longer. Disclaimer: There's not much information about what songs each guest band played for each episode, but I'll try to give you the information that I found. So let's get started. The first episode of Pop Go the Beatles was recorded on May 24th, 1963 and transmitted on June 4th, 1963. With producer Terry Hennebury, the six songs that the Beatles recorded this day were From Me To You, Everybody's Trying To Be My Baby, Do You Want To Know A Secret, You Really Got A Hold On Me, Misery, and The Hippie Hippie Shake, with guest band the Lauren Gibson Trio. Interestingly though, the reception after this episode was... mixed, to say the least. According to a BBC report, it estimated that 5.3% of Britain listened in, or around 2.8 million people, which was typical for that time slot. Unfortunately, however, the audience didn't really like it as much as other shows, such as Saturday Club, Easy Beat, and others. It scored a below average of 52 out of 100 on the Appreciation Index, which was a scale that showed how much Britain liked that show. The next episode was recorded on June 1st, 1963, and later transmitted on June 11th, 1963. Changing locations to the BBC Paris Theatre, they played Too Much Monkey Business, I've Gotta Find My Baby, Young Blood, Baby It's You, Till There Was You, and Love Me Do, with the guest band The Countrymen. Oftentimes in one day, they recorded many songs for Pop Go The Beatles to be broadcasted later on. As such, the third episode was recorded the same day, but transmitted a week later on June 18th. They played A Shot of Rhythm and Blues, Memphis, Tennessee, A Taste of Honey, Sure to Fall in Love With You, Money, That's What I Want, and also From Me To You with guest band Carter Lewis and the Southerners playing Greenback Dollar. The fourth episode was transmitted on June 25th, 1963, recorded on the 17th, two days before their second appearance on Easy Bean. They performed I Saw Her Standing There, Anna, Go To Him, Boys, Chains, P.S. I Love You, and Twist and Shout. They also recorded A Taste of Honey on this day as well, but that was later unbroadcasted. The guest band were The Bachelors, playing Faraway Places, and Jailer Bring Some Water. When Pop Go to Beatles was renewed, original host Lee Peters was replaced with Ronnie Burke. Starting from the 16th, the show would continue until near the end of September. 
As such, Pop Goes the Beatles 5 was recorded July 2nd, 1963, and later transmitted on July 16th. This day, they recorded many new songs. That's Alright, Mama, There's a Place, Carol, Soldier of Love, Laid on Your Arms, Lend Me Your Comb, and Clarabella. Unbroadcasted were Three Little Cats, Sweet Little Sixteen, and Ask Me Why. Their guest band was Duffy Power and the Grand Bond Quartet. They played I Got a Woman, Cabbage Greens, I Started Standing There, and Spanish Blues. Episode 6 was recorded on July 10th, transmitted later on July 23rd. They played Sweet Little Sixteen, A Taste of Honey, Nothing Chicken But the Leaves on the Trees, Love Me Do, Lots and Tears in My Eyes, and So How Come No One Loves Me. Carter Lewis and the Southerners were the guest band playing Mad Mad World. A week later, Episode 7 was transmitted on the 30th. They played Memphis, Tennessee, Do You Want to Know a Secret, Till There Was You, Matchbox, Please Mr. Postman, and The Hippie Hippie Shake. Guest band The Searchers played Sweets for My Sweet and Dadu Run Run. On July 16th, 1963, they recorded three editions of Pop Go to Beatles. The first being Episode 8, transmitted on August 6th, 1963. This day they recorded, I'm gonna sit right down and cry over you, crying, waiting, hoping, Kansas City, hey, 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 to know her is to love her, the honeymoon song, and twist and shout. Their guest band were the Swinging Blue Jeans, playing It's Too Late Now. Episode 9 was transmitted a week later on the 13th. They played Long Tall Sally, Please Please Me, She Loves You, You Really Gotta Hold On Me, I'll Get You, and I Got A Woman, with their guest band, The Hollies, playing Searchin'. Episode 10 was transmitted on August 20th. This day they played Words of Love, Glad All Over, I Just Don't Understand, Devil in Our Heart, and Slow Down. The version of She Loves You played here is the same version as the one from the week prior. Their guest band was Russ Sandy and the New Notes. They played My World Is Falling, Wipeout, Unforgettable Love, Walkin' Tall, and Dadu Run Run. With the producer change from Terry Hennebury to Ian Grant, Episode 11 was recorded August 1st and transmitted on August 27th, 1963. They played Oh My Soul, Don't Ever Change, Twist and Shout, She Loves You, Anna, Go to Him, and A Shot of Rhythm and Blues. The guest band were the Cyril Davies Rhythm and Blues All-Stars with Long John Baldry. They played Country Line Special and My Babe. Episode 12 was transmitted September 3rd, 1963. They played From Me to You, I'll Get You, Money That's What I Want, Honey Don't, and Roll Over Beethoven. There's a Place was the same as the one from July 16th. On broadcast it were Lucille and Baby It's You. The guest band were Brian Poole and the Tremolos, playing Twist and Shout, Do You Love Me, and I Can Tell. Their final day of recording, September 3rd, 1963, ended with their last three episodes, the first being transmitted on September 10th. They played Too Much Monkey Business, Love Me Do, She Loves You, I'll Get You, A Taste of Funny, and The Heavy Heavy Shake. With guest band Johnny Kidd and the Pirates playing A Shot of Rhythm and Blues, Dr. Feelgood, and I Can Tell. Episode 14 was transmitted September 17, 1963. This day, they played Chains, You Really Got a Hold on Me, Misery, Lucille, From Me to You, and Boys. The guest band were the Marauders. They played That's What I Want, Summertime, Bad to Me, Always on My Mind, and Night Train to Memphis. The last and final episode was transmitted on September 24th. 1963, performing their last six songs, She Loves You, Ask Me Why, Devil in Her Heart, I Saw Her Standing There, Sure to Fall, In Love With You, and ending on Twist and Shout. The version of She Loves You here is a different performance from September 10th, with their guest band, Tony Rivers and the Castaways. Funnily enough, of the unbroadcasted songs the band performed, there's enough to perfectly make a 16th episode, an unbroadcasted edition, A Taste of Honey, Three Cool Cats, Sweet Little Sixteen, Ask Me Why, Blue Seal, and Baby It's You as a recap. During the production of Pop Go to Beatles, the band proceeded recording a new single and album. Many covers from these sessions were included on the new album with The Beatles. With heavy touring, manager Brian Epstein also arranged for the band to have another radio show, From Us to You. Rather than a weekly show, it was a holiday special broadcasted mainly in 1964. The heavy amount of international touring to North America and Australia caused the band to appear less on radio. Even with their own show, From Us to You, only lasted four episodes, and the band came back to radio on November 1964 for their second appearance on the show Top Gear, performing new songs from their new album and single. With their work at the BBC, it helped enhance the performance output at EMI. 
Despite Brian later promising for more radio shows, the Beatles would never record for the BBC again. Dumped into bootlegs and later released officially, the BBC sessions also give a nice archive to the Beatles catalog. Not only does it show their youth and spirit, but it also shows them performing new songs that most people really don't know about. While a handful of these are already officially released, the actual full performances of all of these are not officially released. Or at least, at the time of recording this, in 2022, we have no confirmation of that. My name is Shade, I'm your host, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Well, now, as you know, I've done a lot of talking on this show. Well, somebody's got to do it, haven't they? Yeah, and this request says... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Will one of you please read this card with our request on it? Why do we want one of the Beatles to read out this card? Well, they never read out the requests anymore, and that Mr. Burke is always reading it's them out. It's not true. Yeah. And we don't think it's fair. Yeah. So please please us by singing I Saw Us Standing There and by reading out our card, Love from Two Beatle Fans, Angela and Margaret from Leicester. Yeah, and I've got one here from Sue Breasley of Ashton in Surrey, and it's also a request for I Saw Us Standing There. So there. Charming. <laughs>